My bad, Joe. I'm at to go on commercial break, man. He, he subscribes to my channel, man. The last break you in the video. Excuse me, my brother. Mm -hmm. Doing a YouTube uh, video right now. Yeah, man. You got to tell me what it is. That's why I got my phone out. Look at this, y'all. Come on, man. Come on, man. And I see this all the time. Trash ish. It's a mess. I try not to cuss too much, you know. Keep my. Keep, keep it sensitive, you know, for the audience, you know. I'm trying to. You want to get monetized and everything, and the truth be told, you definitely have to keep keep everything right for your audience. Not even just for the audience, but for myself, you know, professionalism. That's the mindset, professionalism and uh, advancement and just evolving, man. Got the barbershop right here. This would be a club or something. I don't know. Yo, we might pop out at night and walk this motherfucker at night. Under this bridge, head on the bridge. Got a car around. <laughs> See anything on the street, like literally anything, depending on what you walk in into. I don't know what you're walking into. Got the march. We in Baltimore with it, y'all. We live from Baltimore. It's a blessing, man. I love I love doing this YouTube content. I just love it, man. I love to get up in the morning and figure out what's next. And if I ain't doing it, I'm gonna go in with my YouTube content. Across the street. Damn, yo. Come on, man. Like, this street crazy, man. Like, this... I can't even cross the damn street. God damn. Yeah, I mean, I see that, right? Like, they don't... They don't care, man. That's how I people drive. They don't care. I got hit by one of these cars. And I'm actually going to take it to the same. Like, what's up, man? All right. Anyone sent to the YouTube world, man? Anyone sent to the YouTube world? I'm on YouTube, I'm doing a video. Oh. Anyone tell the kids to the world, man? Stay in school, motivation talk. Uh, All right, my man, stay blessed, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I like to, you know, I don't mind doing that, bro. People need to message me here, and, and that might be the right thing to do. Got the hill top. I used to always, I once I was locked out of the house and I had to run through this backyard my backyard on the other side we go up but i ain't gonna go back there though i don't know what's back there <laughs> i'm not i'm telling you so many memories in this neighborhood my mom my brother my sister we still around this neighborhood right, coming up the street right now got three houses got three houses it was a car dealership you know but it's gone i guess gone destroyed and this place right here too this is like an old building an old I don't know what old building it was, but it was something back in the day. But now they gonna turn to something big now. Only time will tell, man. Only time will tell. Yeah, the, once again, the three houses, man. Got the three houses around here. They got a lot of shots around here. What happened to the dude that owned this? I wonder if he's still here. I used to always walk by as a younger. Man, so many memories, bro. That's crazy. This is, I wanted to still here. I ain't seen him in a while. It's about to get real and gutter right here, bro. I'm telling y'all right now. It's about to get my show some British verb. I'm telling y'all, y'all. He pushing this clinic real soon. But anyway, it's why I used to live right here. 1913. I'm gonna move in there and moving out. I was only here for one year. Now the church on on three of these houses. Yeah. My mom used to have back room. <laughs> and then she had the front room. Man, sure, bro. Deep. They like four calls in. I'm gonna take y'all to the scene when I got hit when I was younger, man. It definitely hurt when I, when I was younger. So, uh... 
I'm about to go ahead and share out the scene, man, where I got hit and uh, where I remember was standing and I, and I believe that I was unconscious because I remember I woke up with my sister calling my name, like, oh, what happened to my brother? And I was 11 years old when this happened to me, so I was, a, I was young, man. I was young. We gonna take out to the scene, man. Right across the street. And as we cross through the street, that's the clinic right here. For our fiends, addicts, you know, who are trying their life together. But sometimes it's still doing and still can't get the damn clinic. I'm across the street since we broke here. I'm good to go. I'll take out to the scene when I got hit. It's important, man. I I was right in this area, going to the store, and uh, I'm gonna run into something. It's getting real, y'all. A lot of people here now. I don't have to Excuse me, y'all. Doing the YouTube vlog. My man, I'm right behind you, my man. Doing the YouTube vlog. Yeah, I was going to the store. My sister, I was going to the store right here. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, that's what happened, man. I was going to the store. I was I was going to the store right here. I got some cookies. I'm going to take you to the store. I'm going to to the spot. I remember the bus stop was right here when I got hit. It was right there. To get out to the spot real quick. Yeah, I was coming out the store right here. I ain't going there. I don't know who in there now. If I'm not okay. Then I walk down the street. Now, man, if I walk up the store, then I get hit. Like, like look, like this, this. If y'all can see this, hold up. Yeah, okay, cool. We got it. Like this part right here on the ground, like, then I went. I don't know, like I hit and blood was on the ground and I'm like here, bleeding. And that's the you know I was I woke up in the league, oh my gosh, you're okay and it was a crazy situation, you know, it was right here when it happened. From right here to right here. In a short matter of time. Only a short matter of time. the Baltimore. We can change the world. We gotta help change ourselves. You know, what can we do, y'all? What can we do? Hey, what's going on, man? And you wanna say to the YouTube world, man? And you wanna say to the YouTube world? I'm on YouTube right now recording, man. You want to talk to the YouTube world? I'm a YouTube blogger. Hey, what's up, everybody? How y'all doing this morning? That's good. Tell the world what's your name, man. My name is Jack. from Baltimore, Hamden originally, but I moved around. Now I work at the uh, food, food bank, food bank, at uh, New Life. Right. And I like it, you know. I come, I get dust in the morning, I go to work. That's and good, man. Yeah. Can't beat it, you know. Yeah, hope you all stay focused, um, you know, finding your path and uh, keep going, man. Anyone want to talk to the, tell the youth, for anybody that's, that's going through hard times right now, we live in a tough city, man. Yeah. People from my, I know people from out of town go from the same situations, but Baltimore City is uh, riggedy, riding and grimy and dirty if it, if it has to. It's a good side and bad side. So you from the city of Baltimore? Okay, okay, okay. That's good, man. Um, I, I was on, I was on a tour around here, and I was like, yeah, I, I, I used to live in this neighborhood. My grandfather used to come in, you know, I mean, to put his business out there, but he used to come in, and uh, he used to always look out. He loved his family, you know. I'm telling the truth, he, he loved his family, man. And, and, I, and I came with to where I got hit at. I got hit like, years ago, like 2008, and um, crazy situation, man. Crazy situation. But uh, anything you want to tell the world before I head out, man? Um, any uh, final remarks? You know the. The close, close your scene out. <laughs> uh, we 
we all um, we're all responsible for our own destinies. You know, if you want your life to be happy, you have to work work towards it. And you, you know, you might get help from other people, but you can't expect it, and you can't get mad if they don't give it to you. Everybody's got their own stuff going on. But we're society, so we all gotta try to work together, and there's enough natural resources for everybody to be good. Right. My man, my man, and uh, like I said, man, I hope you stay blessed. Hope you gonna move forward in your path. If you're trying to fulfill for yourself, and uh, keep moving, man. Keep striving. I, I like to, f I want to thank you for taking the time for talking with me and letting your, you know, letting your the voice get heard out there. Everybody have a story to tell. Everybody got something to say, and it's a blessing, man. I hope you uh, stay well, man. Stay blessed, my man. Hey, you ain't got no change, is you? Nah. And what's your name, man? Jack. Jack, got gotcha. you. Wish I got some change, man. No, I ain't got no chain. Next time I see you, I'll take care of you, all right? All right, all right man. Stay blessed, man. Too, all right, Jack. Most definitely. Hey, my man. What's good, man? Hey, no, I'm not doing a YouTube blog right now. Huh? Doing a YouTube blog. I know that's right. Yes, sir. I just did a little interview. Uh, Anyone want to tell a YouTube world, man? Huh? Anyone want to tell a YouTube world? Uh, ah! <laughs> all right, man. You stay blessed. That's good, man. That's that's pretty dope. They getting away stuff. Excuse me. They get away stuff in the uh, church. Yeah. That's good. Do you mind show the world what they, what they get away? I ain't gonna put you on no, the camera. No, I can't because it's not my world. Oh yeah, I got you. <laughs> no, that's that's good. That's good though. I just show the community giving back. You know, that's not being broadcast in the world. I gotta cut some scenes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the realness, y'all. This ain't no, this ain't no acting. I really decide to do this, you know. People still going through hard times, and like we gotta really try our best to uplift people. That was, that was real. What he said, man. That was real. What he said. Up the hill. I used to always walk through this area too. And I'm going to the ball shop. I think I did like a Baltimore City tour like two weeks ago. And I kind of showed the scene where the corner was at. A lot of, I mean, a lot of people have seen that show. But I don't think it was big as The Wire-ish. It, it is big as The Wire, but it's just older. But I don't know, man. But anyway, I just like to show historical markings. I was in the city of Baltimore. You know, a lot of people that's from my older generation, they, they, they live to live in these areas. So it's be a lot of houses, man. That was barely any houses around here, if you look at it. <laughs> yeah, another band though. I guess this be a corner store back in the day. A lot of the nineties and the eighties, a lot of graffiti work. I definitely seen this for years too though, but I guess when I grew up, it closed too. We could tell it's like an old fashioned store. This man that what he was years ago. This man, we, we can do with it. Like, this man buying a business. <sighs> they said 1982, that's the 90s, so that's still one of the 90s. What's going on, fellas? Hey. How you doing? Any y'all want to tell the YouTube world? I'm on YouTube right now, man. I'm doing a video, a doc documentary. Oh, okay. And you want to tell the UT world to the kids? You might tell you a little yeah. story. I was I was getting a little quick little bench ball. Damn, this store coming something right now. You know, it's it's an old store, but it's making right. buy. This your old neighborhood? I grew. I mean, you can say that's like it's on the street. Oh, okay, me too. Yeah. I grew up. Yeah, you see you here all these years? Huh? You was here all these years? Well, I grew up right here. Hey, uh, you want me to put you on the camera, dude? You don't mind? I don't know. All right, bet. I just want to make sure. Please, what's up, my brother? Hey, what's going on? Tell yeah. the world, man, about, about your about yeah. the historical yeah. neighborhood. Hey, this is my neighborhood. I grew up in here. I'm 60 years old. Mm. So in the place of God, man, you keeping me. That's you a blessing, know? man. Yeah, man. Everybody got a story I got to tell. I like the devil a little bit, and I'm trying to maintain it. My man. Yeah, I'm 60. That's a blessing, I'm man. I'm the youngest of six, man. <laughs> All my family is gone. I got one sister left out of six of us. Wow, I'm and sorry I'm to hear baby. that. You know, mm. I commend you, young man, to stop in the... 
recognize in the neighborhood because this is my neighborhood. This is my hood. I was just, I was at the store like it felt like a, this store like was just open like over twenty years ago. Oh, it's been and they closed down. When it, well, yeah, since yeah. the ninth, since the late, early nineties, the late eighties, yeah. early eighties. Wow, y'all see this right here? The late eighties. This is thirty years, of this store just saying this man's oh, making buy some yeah. property. For more than thirty years. So who's the owner store? I don't even remember. It's been so long. I'm sixty years old. It, it's been so long. The neighborhood has changed so much that you know. It ain't like it used to Everything be is gone, man. Yeah. Everything, all the blood, sweat, and tears that our older generations put, yeah. it's all gone, basically. It's all gone, man. Because the younger generation got greedy. If that's historical. All somebody got to do is buy that store, man, and fix it up. That's yeah. it. That's it. What happened to even if you look at back in the day, like in the 80s and 90s, drug dealers back then was, was buying property. But they don't do that no more. They rather buy designer clothes and everything. Back in the day, Drug dealers didn't do what they did. There was very few drug dealers hanging on the corner. You didn't have that. You couldn't come in my neighborhood and sell your dope. You couldn't come in my neighborhood and beat Everybody, your everybody, I, I, I think yeah. from me outside looking at it, everybody had a crew, you know? Yeah. Now everybody's out here by themselves and that's just being different. But back in my day, somebody that wasn't from this neighborhood couldn't come in this neighborhood and fight somebody and get out of this neighborhood. Wow. Because yeah. if you fought one person, you fought the whole block. Mm, everybody and had a crew. you didn't make it out. Because we were united. You know, I'm 60 years old. And where I grew up at, I grew up down by John Hopkins. Mm. If, you, if the people, we couldn't come on Milton Avenue at one no. time. Right. You know, we couldn't go. Oh, these houses gone, man. Check your ass. You know, because a lot of the white people wouldn't let us. Mm. You know? Right. So this history, man. My man. You're a young man, right? Yeah. But keep doing what you're doing, man. I commend you to that. I appreciate you telling your story, your history, because I know that felt good now. It did. Everything that you had inside, you can kind of release some of that. Okay, now, it's still, I mean, that, that still see some potential out here. Yeah, and is. not just leaving the neighborhood, and that's the end of the story. But it ain't good. We don't come together as black folks yeah. like we used to. We too busy shooting each other down, putting each other down, you know, not helping each other, coming up as a united as a brother. As a brother, I was like your mentor. You know, you looked up to me if I was doing. I mean, right you thing. know what's crazy? Uh, my uncle, he do like uh, he was giving me advice. He was telling me he said these young guys. Every time you tell them something like try to give me advice. It feel like your voice get thinner and thinner, it do. and they to the air. It do. And uh, and uh, and uh, and I'll tell you one thing. And it felt like every time y'all tell them stories about how you make, how y'all had money back in the day, they be like, "Oh, it's, it sounds good when you high, when we high and all yeah. like when we all went the blunt, chilling." But yeah. I got money in my pocket right now. What you talking about? Yeah. I got money in my pocket, big homie. You, know what I mean? back in, back in my you ain't got it right now. I used to listen to the older guys so that I could get older. A lot of guys your age and oh, my. my day didn't make it to your age because. They, they didn't listen. Y'all didn't listen. Y'all didn't take heed to us older folks to guide you. One you know? hand out the other. Yeah, one, one hand out the other. What you doing is you listening to your seniors. Always listen to your seniors. Yeah. Because if they got a story, but they also can help you get further in life. You know? They can help you so that you can make it to my age. Because y'all dying at your age. 24. Man, a lot of them ain't even saying 21. You got seven of y'all down a day. Yeah. And that's sad. If you make it to 25, you're lucky. Yeah. If you make it to 30, you're lucky. If you make it to 40, you're lucky. Yeah. If you make it you're to You're blessed. Me, you're more than blessed. I'm 60 and I'm the youngest of six. All my brothers are gone. My mom, my dad, my oldest that's sister. That's hard, man. That's a, that's hard pain. It is like... Who can I really turn to? But that guy's myself and your sister. Turn to your and that uncle. Made me, that made me want to appreciate my family. Yeah. I got turn my grandmother. To your uncle who can tell you my grandmother's story. still here. My my parents still here. My grandfather's not here. My grand my other grandma from my mother's side yeah. not here. But go, I still have my family around them. Go to them, listen to them. Let them tell you their story. That'll help you get to where they're at. 
Okay. My man, I appreciate you, man. I love you. My name's Jay, brother. You too, man. Stay, Stay blessed. Strong, man. Hope we can lock up for another interview one day, man. Hey, I can set you out there on Facebook. All right, get to you. you know, I got, I got, I got thousand thousand views, man. Hey, put me out there. Let them booty. know, man. Man, booty. All right, I'm man, booty right here. My man. <laughs> I'm Jay, man. Pleasure yeah, to meet you. Appreciate you, Mr. Jay. Vaughn. Vaughn, pleasure, man, and I appreciate you stopping. Most definitely. God yeah, bless you, man. Stay strong, stay focused, and listen to your singing. That's Most my best advice I can Appreciate you, man. You stay blessed. I love that motivate, you, man. man. Peace and love to you, too, I man. I love you, man. I appreciate that. I love you. I know it's made your day. You know, like it's made your day. You my energy. You I got an old soul. You made my day. I'm just coming out of rehab. I got myself back to death. I'm speaking. Oh, you, you will. I'm doing it. You will. I got you. You know what self-discipline? Just doing it. Who think you got to punish yourself? Who think you got to I got nephews and nieces older than you. I got the God them. I got the God my great grand nieces and nephews. Yeah. I got to be an example for my family. Right. For the right family. Yeah, right. 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 You too, man. All right, all right. All right, we're in Buka, right? Yeah. All right, Buka. Anyone tell the world, man, if I get up out of here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y'all gonna see me again one day, watch. Oh, yeah. Most My man, appreciate y'all. Yeah, let me let him know. Oh, I'm gonna take one more look at this store. Like, see this right here? It's another. All right, Buka. Uh, Mookie. <laughs> Mookie. Oh, Mookie. My bad. Mookie, Mookie. <laughs> I'm joking with you. This is a. It is over 30 years, bro. Mm, mm, mm. All right, fellas, man. I'm gonna keep doing a video. You too, man. Stay blessed. Most definitely. Yeah, that was a good. That was a good interview, man. That was a good. I, I mean, look, I'm, I'm sitting here. I'm working. That was pretty dope, man. It was good to really discuss and, and let people tell their side of the story, man. I think we went like ten minutes strong, man. But I just like I love doing stuff like that. If people really have a story to tell, I think it's only right to go ahead and let people hear, hear what they got to say. You know, when these when these old people talking, just listen to them. You know, it might they can save a generation. They can save you know people my age and you know that's that's younger than me that's out here. So you know, just. Let's take even this people that's around us, man, because they're going to tell us off experience, you know? I don't get me wrong. So I know some of these older guys ain't right. They ain't, you know, they, they, they don't really want to see us in the best situation as possible. But listen to the ones that we, that, that's going to tell us what we need to hear, not what we want to hear. Hear what we need to hear. So <laughs> that's that's powerful, man. That was a powerful interview. And, uh, you know, pretty much our family, man. Like, I just mentioned I got family, and he ain't got nobody to turn. Just imagine having that, like really having nobody to turn to. You know, but like a couple of people, but that's by your side. But that's that's hard, man. That's that's hard, you know. Yeah, man. I'm finna wrap this video up. So I, know, I just did a, a video around the corner. So uh, any y'all want to send a comment box, please do so. I would love to hear your responses, your your opinions on this Baltimore world. So I think it was pretty good. You know what? I think it's definitely over 20 minutes. So, woo. This is going to be like the wrap up for the side of town. East Baltimore. I think I covered like down the hill. I didn't cover, you know, downtown. I didn't. Uh, oh, what y'all think, man? Should I go west? I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to go places. I, I don't know where I'm at. So that's a no no. I'd rather do places where I know where I'm at. So yeah, man. I, I love doing this Baltimore tour. Now, I was got a story to tell, man. Where they want to get their voice to be heard. They don't get to tell their family about what they would talk about so you know oh, man mr j and mr mookie <laughs> oh man it was dope man very dope powerful interview man i love every bit of it i didn't want to leave but i got my head cut and stuff so gotta do what you gotta do gotta do what you gotta do I'm gonna get in techno. Okay. I'm on YouTube, man. I'm on YouTube, man. Okay. I'm on YouTube right now. Tell the world you're on the YouTube world, man. 
<laughs> I'm funny as hell, man. I'm just having fun in the YouTube world, man. We up the hill with it, y'all. Felt good doing this. I think I've pretty much covered my whole side of town. Why I used to live at and everything else, man. I think I've pretty much done all everything that I, every place where I used to live at, you know. That's good, man. Oh, that's how you know I'm from East Baltimore. I know where I'm going at. <laughs> that's how you know your side of time. You know where you're going at. Yeah, man. Got the up the hill. Up the hill, y'all. I don't keep saying, I'm joking. These abandoned houses right here. This is so many of them, bro. Like every house, it's only like, like a good five, six houses on each row. But most of these houses are getting bought back up anyway, so we'll see what it looks like in the next 20 years. Yeah, a lot of houses to be out here. And we got the corner. I'm gonna show the corner because it really is the corner. I'm gonna show it again too. I've done a I've done a um, a recent uh, world tour. I'm gonna take it back again because what we saw on the show, this is for real, y'all. This is for real. This ain't no acting. That I mean, that show was acting and TV scripted, but this right here, I'm about to show y'all. This shit is for real, man. This ain't no joke. So <laughs> sometimes you gotta you know reshoot things and kind of repeat things or what was missed in the last video was why well, not just show this part of side of town and where I was at previously. Here we go. We got the corner. Yep. Ain't really out here, y'all. This is for real, man. But yeah, um, I'm finna get up out of here, folks. Uh, you folks have a blessed one. Um, you stay safe out here, man. Oops, almost tripped. <laughs> but, uh, Anything you wanna like, anyone even in the comment section, please do. Um, if you're new to the channel, hit that like button, subscribe, go comment. Um, you folks stay blessed and uh, have a safe one, man. And um, I'll get one last view of that corner, man. It was all right here 20 years ago. Wish you can do another one. <laughs>